Hello guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Martin. If you haven't already, then please do hit that like and subscribe button down below. It helps me out greatly. Today we're working back on the 10 foot fish tank. We're going to be upgrading the lighting in the refugium. Stay tuned. For those of you who are new to the channel, this is my 10 foot marine aquarium. It is 10 foot long, two foot tall and two foot deep. And over here on this back corner, we do have a three foot refugium. So I believe this is a 100 watt and a 100 watt LED cob grow light bulb and I think these basically resemble a 300 watt and a 300 watt standard grow light bulb. So in the middle of the actual aquarium we have a sump. In this sump I have some Cheeto. I've been growing this for many years. It, it does grow really well and the light that I've been using is this guy up here. As a result I went out and picked up two more. The model is a GL-YJ-S300 and it uses 50 watts of power but apparently is equivalent to 300 watts. I'm not 100% sure but I think the one I currently have when both sides were working was 600 watts also. It might have been four, probably six. So the plan is to install both of these above the refugium, leave them for let's say two weeks, 14 days and see what kind of growth we get. So I got these from Amazon. I will leave a link down in the description. I've purchased the original one, which I use above the sump from Amazon. And I went to buy two more of them and they had a special on, if you, if you pick up two, you got, I think five pounds off. So if we just get inside of one of these, you get your power lead. and you get the light unit and that is it you should get the lighting kit to hang it yep you get the hanging kit with the the pack also and this is basically the light unit that you get it has quite a nice design to it the light unit itself is in the center. All this around the edge is only used for cooling and apparently it is completely hollow. So it's pretty simple to set up. As you can see, you have four areas here, which is raised up and you have these hooks. You quite simply just hook them on and then you can hang it from this clip up here. Connect that to your power lead, plug it in, turn it on and you are good to go and you just simply clip on like so with the cable attached as you can see you have quite a lot of length that's way too long for what I need I will have to shorten these to about this length because I need to fit these into the bottom of the tank and I'm looking to have it about six inches from the top of the water so I will place one here and leave a gap and probably one about here. Basically section the tank in half and place the light in the center of both halves. So I'll get this done off camera and I'll get back to you guys once I have the new lights installed. Okay, so the lights are installed. It took a lot longer than I initially expected. I would normally use a time lapse, but with my hand being all messed up, I, I knew it wouldn't be straightforward. So I didn't put you guys through the pain of watching me trying to install this. It doesn't look too professional, but I will come back at a later date and tidy all this up. I will cut these wires. I do actually have some clamps where I can actually remake these. So I will take these back off, measure the correct length and recrimp them and attach them properly to the top. I will run the wires across the top and cable tie them in also. These should be the same as my other one above the sump. However, these don't look... Well, the one above the sump has a purple glow to them. These ones don't. So these ones do have a tint to them, but not the same purple pink glow that my other grow lamp has. You have two options. You have a grow light or you have a daylight lamp. I went for the grow light, they have grow light written on them. So I'm assuming 
this is the correct spectrum to grow algae. Visually, they are definitely brighter than the light previously. I know you guys only seen it with the one light activated, but with both on, it was never, never this bright. This is the brightest I've had this refugium since I've set it up. So hopefully, these two lamps will equal plenty of growth. So this is the first video I've posted in about two, three months. Basically, I had an accident. I <laughs> stupidly fell up my own stairs and broke my wrist in two places and did quite a lot of muscle damage. So I've been recovering at home. I've not filmed any videos for YouTube. I have been doing what the doctors advised and I've been relaxing and letting my wrist fully heal. I returned to work last week and it's going good so far. So hopefully in the next week or two, I should be able to bring you guys more content back in the garage, back working on cars, back working on small engines and back working on the 10 foot marine fish tank. So I thought this would be a nice easy video to get me back into making content for the channel. And it was. I do rely heavily on this as my filtration. I very rarely do water changes. I very rarely add anything to my system. It is a very natural, leave it alone, clean the aquarium glass, feed the fish every day. And that's all I've done for many, many years. And I've had really good success. So time for the update. It has been 10 days. And as you guys can see, we have a lot of growth. I took all the algae out of this sump, cleaned it, put it back in. I separated it into the two different species. And as you guys can see, it has grown at a great rate. This is very impressive. I have not had time to tidy all the cables up. Basically, it was my son's first birthday. It was my wife's birthday. And then this weekend, is our wedding anniversary so I've been a little busy so this is on my to-do list but it's not urgent basically there's only me who actually comes under here no one else in the house actually steps foot in this section of the tank I can honestly say that I do recommend these I'm very impressed with the amount of growth I dread to think what four weeks would do in this sump without thinning it down the amount of space that they take up the amount of room that is required for the fittings to hook up to and basically the quality of the light, the amount of algae growth I've got, unbelievable, it just really is, I'm I'm absolutely shocked, if just, I just can't believe how much algae has grown in such a small amount of time, I'm not too sure if I actually took some footage of this once I cleaned it out, but essentially there was a clump here and a clump over here and I was pretty shocked it looked a lot but when you take it all out and compact it together then put it back in so it sink to the bottom there wasn't that much at all this this is a massive amount of algae very impressed guys very impressed if you want an update on this in future videos then just let me know down below so for the time being guys we're going to end this one here i'm very impressed and i'll be looking forward to seeing just how much of this grows and if it will fill the entire system which i'm pretty sure it will probably the next three to four weeks but for the time being guys thank you for watching like always please like subscribe comment down below and i'll see you in the next one hey.